If you've been watching my videos for a little while, you've seen I got a lot of stuff behind me. I've shown you the main backdrop, but there's still all of this too. <laughs> what is all of that stuff and where did it come from? So if you've been watching for a little while, you've seen that I shoot my videos from a couple different locations. Most of my shoot over in my office, and I got to show you that video recently that shows all that stuff. But I've also got a lot of things here at my home set. This is where I film all my live streams, and yeah, there's a lot more stuff here as well. So I thought it'd be fun to give you a nice close look at these items as well and talk about some of the stories behind them, because some of these are real treasures. So you can kind of see that, yes, there is a lot of different items here that are behind me. And a lot of times I'm sitting in front of them, so you can't see all of them. And I think I may actually have more stuff crammed onto these shelves here than I actually do in my office. So let me kind of talk a little bit about some of these. Now, the first is the Celebration City poster, which is sitting over on my right in the videos. This was a gift to me from Robert Morris, who brought it to me during a collab, and it's one of the last posters, I believe, that was available at the park. So it kind of a rare item now since the park is now closed, which is a wonderful deal. My first return trip down to Walt Disney World, I was blessed with this picture, and yes, I do have a couple little cobwebs there. You wouldn't believe I cleaned it yesterday, would you? Uh, but this was actually given at my meet and greet at Walt Disney World my, on my return trip after eight years from one of my viewers. Uh, he actually drew this himself. And it, yep, sits right there as a treasured part of my uh, collection. So really love that. This is actually a potato sack art piece that's inspired by the Wilderness Church at Silver Dollar City, which I've preached at and has been a neat part of my life. So that's sitting there. I could fill it out and make a pillow out of it, but haven't done it yet. Up on top here, you get to see a few of my cups from my collection. Yes, I've got a whole bunch of them. I actually have two boxes full of them. Uh, another set of the gold ears. There's a set on my other piece that's from the Mickey's Magical Milestones Tour. This is just a regular pair of ears I bought. Uh, you can see another SeaWorld lunch bag, uh, Epcot football there, a uh, couple of pictures of students. The Jerusalem cross is actually from Jerusalem, made of olive wood. I uh, bought that on my trip to Israel. And then that hat right behind is actually from Romania. And that was a gift from an exchange student that we worked with while we were here. And you can see the Doctor Who hat and the Philadelphia Phillies hat. Those were both gifts from uh, viewers. A couple more cups there. And then as I come down into here, there's all sorts of stuff. Uh, the pin up in the top right, right up there, is actually from the Disney uh, Movie Club. And so you'll see three or four of those, at least four, that are in here. So if you see that, that's where those came from. A couple ornaments from Walmart, like the Stormtrooper there. Uh, the wagon here is actually from Costa Rica. My wife and I bought that on a trip years ago. And then the chocolates here are actually all gifts from a viewer. They are from uh, the Netherlands. And yes, I have kept those here. I know it's terrible. I got all these old chocolates and haven't eaten them yet. Uh, you can see a keychain from Silver Dollar City and the keychain itself came off. A couple more tins of uh, pins that are there. The Robin Hood pin that came from England. This is also from a viewer. Uh, he sent me several of these, and I just absolutely love them. Another little pin set in the back there. That one's probably hard to see a lot of times. There is one pin right in the middle of it that you can see. And then the others are all other pins in that series that I don't have. Uh, the Captain Phasma pin, which I got a couple years ago at Christmas. Uh, my son's Lego TIE Fighter that is there. Uh, beads from Africa. And... Um, Sorry, no, these are the ones from Israel. These are uh, beads set that we bought in Israel. I do have some beads that are from Africa that actually Craig Coli sent me. So you've got the ornament from Disneyland Paris with Chip and Dale there. And then the classic set of Mickey ears, Medieval Times from our trip down to Florida a couple years ago. I uh, got another one of my Funko Pops there. Uh, this is one I believe that came from a viewer. You got my TARDIS Christmas ornament that's right there. A couple other little gifts from viewers. I love the Donald Duck. These things are fun. They just squeeze them. A uh, couple Sir Willow pins. Uh, you can see I've actually got a Stitch Antenna Ball that is right there. Uh, my mother actually had that. I bought that when I had worked down there. 
Uh, bracelet of the Jedi Mickey. Absolutely love the Jedi Mickey. That's really cool. And then another one of the Legos from my viewer. And, uh, of course, Curious George, which absolutely makes sense since that's one of my nicknames. And I love the top of it. And you can see it's dedicated right there. So that's that was a really neat gift from a viewer. Moving down. Oh, almost forgot. There is my Silver Dollar City name tag. You can get the regular park ones, which you have to turn in. But if you work there, you can get a custom name tag made over at the leather shop. And so that is mine. Hey, Mickey, hold my tag. A couple more ornaments from Disneyland Paris. Uh, you got the bears there. That is actually my son's and then my wife's. And I've got those. This is also from Israel. There is uh, holy water and other things there. Uh, I've got another lanyard tucked in down there, which I bought discount when we were down. Uh... Of course, my grenade from uh, the Star Wars land. Another Rhino Rally hat. And you've got a couple more pins here. That These all came from viewers, which are a wonderful blessing. My Club 33 pin. My sister bought that for me a few years ago, and she got to go there. Um, but these are all special. This is, this is a really neat pin. Hard to get. That actually came as a Christmas exchange. Sesame Street Place pin. That was from a viewer. Years of Million Dreams, Pirates... These are probably harder to see. These are actually also sent from a viewer in the Netherlands, which um, came with the chocolates. And then also a little uh, water globe. And unfortunately, the glass part of it broke. But I did an interview with them for a college project that they were doing on theme parks and stuff. And they sent that to me as gifts. I just absolutely love it, especially since my family does have roots in the Netherlands. So that was really cool. Uh, you've got... Uh, one of the pins from uh, Not So Scary Halloween Party when we got to go a couple years ago. Uh, Good Guys Always Wins pins from the opening of Outlaw Run. And then a lot of these are also sent in from viewers. Oh, I didn't get to show you the Mickey and Minnie classic figures. Those were gifts as well. The Epcot World Showcase pins, which are absolutely wonderful. And a Mickey. The Celebration City mug is a gift. Uh, the Dollywood Fire thing is a gift. And then I had shown you a lanyard in my other video from a photographer. Well, that is also one from her. And I love this lanyard. Uh, they were apparently, they sold out fairly quickly is what I heard. But I am so grateful because if I do have a favorite Disney character, it's probably Figment. And then Simba has a lot of other wonderful feelings for me. Uh, collectible Mickey figures along with uh, opening a Shanghai Disney pin right there. And then we've got a couple buttons and a name tag for Larry. And I know you're probably looking at going, who's Larry? Why do you have his name tag? Larry was actually a guy who went down for a one-year work program who started watching my videos. And that was part of the impetus for him going down. So when he was done, he actually sent me his name tag. Um, so very grateful for that. You'll love his name. It's Larry Potter. Yes, that is his real name. <laughs> and no, he's not a wizard. Uh, more Sir Willow pins. Hey, I do still have some for sale if you want them. Uh, Grinch figure, the Epcot anniversary button. Disney King pins, which is an online group that I do participate in. They've got their own buttons. So that's where that came from. Uh, you can see my figment there. And then a Disneyland Paris pin, which I love, that I couldn't quite fit into my pin book. More books from my other collection. Uh, another antenna ball. And then this was the main work lanyard I used to wear when I was at Disney. Last video, I showed you the Simba one. Well, there's my other one that I wore. And I got a couple other things hiding here. There's a San Francisco Giants pin, and uh, you can kind of see the Bush Gardens hat. That would be one I would have worn. Another cup. This was actually my son's first ride on a huge roller coaster. That's Akumba down in Florida. Then I've got several other things here. You can see I've got more Christmas ornaments, a calligraphy pen that my daughter actually brought me from Italy, a gnome, because people say I look like a gnome. <laughs> uh, I got my Porg. That's uh, I just recently got that from a viewer, which is awesome. Uh, the Epcot Food and Wine Mickey that's in there. Another Bush Gardens lunchbox. Doctor Who ornaments. These are also gifts. Um, this big box here is actually my pins for joining D23. And you can see the certificate of authenticity there. And then this is just a really neat set. And I could go through and open it up, but um, I actually did that in the video I received it in. And I got a Yoda mug hiding there. Uh, old Mickey that's actually kind of creepy the way it works. <laughs> uh, 
Avengers bucket. There's a Walt Disney World notebook in there with autographs. And I do have a few pins hiding here. Most of these are copies, but I also have my traders. So there are a few. Yes, I am actually willing to trade or sell that one. That's a $75 to $100 pin right there. It's a big pin. A uh, universal pin. So there's a number of things here that I have been really blessed with over the years. I'm just amazed when people send me such really cool stuff. And they have sent me some amazing things. And especially when you get things like the Legos that mean so much to kids. And yeah, that that is a treasured piece there when somebody sends something like that to me. Or the pieces that come from the Netherlands. Uh, because it's a touch of home for them. Um, you know, you've got the little pin there of Robin Hood. They came from England. Those kinds of things, when I get special little mementos from people's homes, that just means a ton to me. It's why I still have that hat up there. Um, and in fact, actually from the same exchange students, I didn't point this out. I have another necklace and that was kind of the mark that we would wear that, Hey, we were all kind of in this thing together. So, oh, and then another Disney Paris ornament as well. So that one's from Brave. So that's a little look there at what there is and some of the stories behind it and, and how blessed I have been by different people. I can tell you in all honesty, I've opened up boxes of these things, and after I've gone off, I cried at just how generous people have been to me. So if you've sent things, yep, I keep it all. <laughs> it all means a lot to me. So that's a look at all my other things here in my home office. I'd love to know if you've got questions about things that you've seen here or maybe that you've seen in other videos. Feel free to ask them both here as well as on my Facebook page. I'd love to be able to share the stories. Do you have something that is special to you that means a lot to you? Tell me about it. I'd love to hear it. Show me your photos. I'd love to see them. I hope you enjoyed this little look at some of my collection and how much it's been a blessing to me. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, sharing, liking, subscribing, and check out the fan pages in the description below. There's a ton of info there. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Oh boy, is that shaking bad. Yeah. And you can see the Doctor Who hat and the Philadelphia Eagle. Ugh, Eagles. If you'd like to know about my merchandise, fan pages, and more, be sure to check the description below. If you'd like to know whenever I've got a new video posted, well, make sure you hit that button right up there and subscribe. If you'd like to watch another one of my videos, I've got a great one for you right here. And if you'd like to be like these wonderful people here and support me financially on Patreon, well, make sure you check the link right there. There's even some extra perks for them. Thank you so much and God bless.